What is it that can be everywhere? I want you to look at this. Think of one thing that can be everywhere. Nature? What does nature mean to you? See, energy can be here, not be there, isn't it? No, no, no. See, there can be a… see, energy means it has a physical presence. So, there is energy here, maybe there is no energy there, it's a possibility, isn't it? What is it that can be everywhere? Oh, you are… <laughs> huh? Nothingness. Nothingness is the only thing which can be everywhere, isn't it? Hmm? You don't like it. Now, you are flying up there, you are flying within the atmosphere, so there is something. Suppose your airplane takes off and flies beyond this atmospheric space, what is there? Total nothingness, isn't it? If you look up in the sky in the night, what do you see? Stars. But I want you to understand, stars are just tiny specks out there. The large mass is just vast emptiness, isn't it? It is in the lap… it is in the lap of this nothingness, small somethingness has happened. Your planets, stars, galaxies are just little happenings in the vast emptiness of space. So nothingness is the only thing which can be everywhere. So if nothingness is the all that can be everywhere, today modern science is proving to you beyond any doubt, everything is coming from nothing and going back to nothing. Do you know this? Do you know modern science is proving to you your theory of relativity, quantum theory and now the string one, they are all out to prove to you that everything comes from nothing and goes back to nothing. A whole galaxy of stars, many times they just collapse into themselves and become nothing. Some of them explode and become supernovas, but many of them just collapse into themselves and just become nothing. These are called black holes. So, everything comes from nothing, goes back to nothing. What you call as creation is just a small happening, a brief happening, maybe a few hundred million years, but still in the vastness of the space, it is just a small brief happening. You may think you are too much, but you are just a brief happening, isn't it? Simply you appear like this, you will disappear tomorrow, isn't it? This planet also, it is appeared like this, it will disappear tomorrow. But the vastness of the space is always there. It is in the lap of this space, everything is happening. It is in the lap of nothingness, somethingness sprouts and dies, sprouts and dies. So everything is coming from nothing. You know the word Shiva? The word Shiva means that which is not. The word Shiva literally means that which is not. That which is is creation, that which is not is Shiva or the creator. So this is ultimate science for you. They are just telling you everything comes from nothing and goes back to nothing because everything is supposed to come from Shiva and he is that which is not. He is nothingness or in other words, he is darkness. Space is just utter darkness, isn't it? Yes, experientially. The sources of light are always limited. If you see light, it means something is burning there. It won't be forever, it will burn up after some time. You feel and see, something is burning here. Yes? In a mild way maybe but something is burning and you can't keep the burning forever. You cannot keep any burning forever, it will burn itself out after some time. Even the greatest source of light that you know is sun. Even he is burning himself up, one day he will be done. 
Yes or no? Such a great source of light, just with my hand I can stop the light and leave a long shadow of darkness, isn't it? But darkness, can you stop it anywhere? It is everywhere, into everything. So, your religions told you God is everywhere. That means they're telling you God is darkness. But always you believed divine light, never divine darkness. <laughs> in yoga, for beginners in yoga, we always tell them God is light. As people advance in yoga, we tell them God is darkness. You're frightening. Huh? You're frightening us. Why? You're afraid of darkness? Yeah. <laughs> See, darkness means there is nothing. Nothing cannot hurt you, only something can hurt you, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it so? Huh? Yes. Why are you afraid? Why are you afraid of that which created you. <laughs> yes, it's nothing. <laughs> See, there was some time ago this philosophy. Some time ago, modern science believed nothing can be actually created or destroyed. You can only convert one thing into another. Matter can neither be created nor can it be destroyed, but not anymore. Worldwide physical research laboratories have done this. Now they can destroy a proton or a neutron, not releasing any energy, not becoming anything else, just simply plain destruction. An existing proton, you can make it non-existent. And in vacuum states where nothing is, they can produce what is called as virtual protons and virtual neutrons. One of the experiments happened in the coal or gold mines. Do you know this? Because they wanted a certain depth and a certain pressure inside the earth. One… The, in five different places on the planet, they conducted a very significant experiment about eight, nine years ago. One point was coal or gold mines near Bangalore. And they can actually destroy protons and neutrons and they can create protons and neutrons out of nothing. So, this whole idea of if something has to be there, something else has to be there behind it, doesn't arise anymore. Everything comes from nothing and goes back to nothing. Huh? Nothing makes something. May make something, not necessarily. 